Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So you know, wouldn't it be awesome to have a tech team on call, you know, building my app ideas without the hustle. So you know, introducing Chat Dev, your personal AI app development squad, which means like no office politics, no endless meeting, just code that bends to your whip. So you know, think of it as your brain trust of AI developers as well as designers and strategists all working together in a virtual sandbox for you. So you know, uh, in this video, we're not just talking about the future of app development. We're giving you like the keys to the kingdom. So we're going to walk you through chat as installation process, step by step, you know, showcasing real world use cases that will literally blow your mind and also answer every question you have about turning your app ideas into reality. Reality. So, you know, uh, buckle up because in just few minutes, uh, you will be equipped to build the next big thing powered by the magic of AI. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right. So, first up, you need to open up the Anaconda prompt. Okay. So, this one right over here. So, you know, talking about the prerequisites. So, make sure uh, that you have Minicona installed. And you also have like Python latest version installed. And you know, also make sure that you have. Python uh, 311 installed in your system and you know just make sure one more thing you have git also install uh, like inside of your system as well okay okay so the first thing uh, you need to do uh, is clone the repo so I'll give it a prompt like git clone and you know then I'll copy this link onto the top of this github repository so you know you can do it by just clicking on this green button and you know copying the link from here as well so, okay, uh, paste the link right here and just hit enter and wait for that. Okay, all right, so it's all done. Uh, you have completely cloned that repository in your local uh, system. All right, so yeah, that's a good sign. And next, I uh, will create new Quanta environment for this project. And you know, that will basically allow us to isolate all of our dependencies from other project to this project, right? And you know, this all will be done like in a very, very neat way. All right, so uh, this is the command like Quanta create a minus and chat at Python equals 3.11 and then hyphen Y. Okay, I'll simply hit enter. So, you know, it's doing its stuff. So um, you can see right over here. All right, so it's done. You can see right over here. Now you just simply need to grab this thing to, you know, activate your Kona environment. All right, paste it here, just hit enter. And you know, now from here, uh, you can see that uh, your environment is successfully activated. First, you know, it was base, uh, but now it's with the name of environment, which is chat dev. And now what you need to do is we need to uh, enter into our directory. Okay, uh, so I'll cd into chat dev and after that you can see now I am inside of my chat dev folder. Alright, so you can see right over here. Uh, now next we need to install uh, all of our requirements of the project. Alright, so for that I'll say like um, pip install minus uh, requirements dot txt. Okay, so uh, just hit enter and it will basically install all the requirements for you. All right, so you can see right over here uh, now, all of our requirements are successfully installed. All right, so the next thing uh, you need to do is uh, grab your OpenAI's API key. And for that, you need to go to uh, this platform, which is openai.com forward slash playground. So if you don't have any account, you just need to create one and uh, make sure to subscribe for OpenAI's API key, okay? So now uh, what you need to do uh, on the left-hand side, you just need to navigate to API keys. Okay, and from here, what you need to do, you just simply need to create a new API key and I will call it as chat dev, right? Okay, and then click on uh, create API key. Um, as you guys can see, it says like verify, all right? So your API key has been successfully generated. So you can see right over, just need to copy your API key from here. So, you know, don't worry about this. After this video, I'll revoke this API key for you. All right, so now we have set up our open AI's API key. And uh, for that, what you need to do is you just need to type in the command like set up open AI underscore API underscore key equals. And then you need to paste your key right here. Okay, like this one. So I'll simply hit enter and it will be all set. All right, so the next step is that we need to run this project for that. Uh, you need to follow this command, python run a dot pi dash dash task, then description of your idea, like what you want to build uh, in your particular project, then this is like hyphen hyphen name, and you know, after that, then the project name, like the name 
you want to assign to your project, okay? So for that, uh, what I'll do, I'll first provide to give the description, and you know, so I gave it like the description as create a blog application in which, you know, users can add blog, uh, can view them as well, and can update them and delete that as well, okay? So, you know, then hyphen, hyphen, name, and uh, this will uh, be the name of my application, like blog underscore app, okay? So I'll simply hit enter to run this command, all right, so as you guys can see, it's finished. Uh, you can see right over here, it like consume around like 18 to 132 uh, tokens. And the total duration was like 637 seconds. And it's giving you like a bunch of like different information as well. Like the cost is around like, you know, $0.02, right? So that's really crazy and amazing, right? You can see right over here, like how efficient and how good it works, okay? So then if you go to a uh, chat folder here, so here there will be a folder of like warehouse, this one, okay? So here in the warehouse folder, all of the different projects would be created. Um, for the one you just uh, gave the prompts and the other examples as well for you, so okay, you can uh, see all other different applications right here as well. And you know, this one is actually our blog application which we just created, okay? So what's the fun part is that, you know, once it's finished, we can see the replay of that as well, you know, like all the AI just working together, like how they work on this particular project, okay? All right, so uh, then we need to do, we need to simply type in like Python visualizer forward slash app dot py dot, okay? And you need to just simply allow access and now it will actually uh, spin up the server. You need to grab this link from here, copy this, uh, open up the browser and you know paste the URL right over here. Okay, so this is what you will see. Okay, I like chat uh, chain visualizer and replay visualizer. So we'll simply click on like replay visualizer right over here. Okay, so now it will basically open something like this. You can see right over here. Okay, then we need to click on like file upload and so you know the inside this folder like our apps name which is like blog app. If you open this up, uh, so we'll see like file blog app underscore default organization and it's like a text document for you, okay? So, you know, after that, we'll simply uh, open this up. Now we can actually replay to see like how this process actually worked, like how different AI agents work together to solve this problem. Okay, so if you just uh, click on the replay, so you can see like right over here that the first like chief executive officer is giving instructions. Uh, so you can like, you know, uh, slow down the replay speed as well and you can make it fast as well. Okay, so uh, the chief product officer, then the chief executive officer said this, uh, then it goes to like uh, the chief technology officer. Okay, like I'm assigning the task, like it's uh, giving the instruction programming languages. So this idea is that, uh, okay, what you can do, you can simply watch like how they are like working together, okay? So, you know, another thing we can have like chat chain visualizer, if you can click on this one. So here we also need to like upload a file. So we need to upload a file here as well. So I'll click on upload file. Okay, so this is the file inside of chat dev bear house and our blog app default organization folder, uh, you know, like chat chain config dot JSON. Okay. So, you know, I'll simply uh, click on open and now here we can see all of the different prompts and different phases like together. Like how cool is that? This is actually a really, really cool and amazing feature. So, you know, let's try to see and open one of the applications uh, like this that Jad Dev has actually created. So, you know, I'll go back into the warehouse folder. So here are the examples you can see right over here. So, you know. Um, let me just try to open up like greedy snake game. Okay, so I will simply open this folder. So now I will just try to open this thing into like cmd forward slash dot. Okay, so now I have simply opened up this folder inside of my VS code. So now if I just try to go to like main.py, this is my main file, right? And uh, if I just try to click this like run Python file button right on the top. So now you can see that my game is actually working yet. So, you know, the green one is uh, the snake and uh, the red one is actually the food. Okay. So, right. It's actually working like really, really great. All right. So let me just try to open one more file. Um, so let me just try to open up this rock, paper, scissor. Okay, I'll go to the main.py, uh, just run this like Python file. So this is a simple game. Suppose if I choose like rock, uh, it's basically a tie. So if I choose like paper, I win. 
and once again rock paper computer win okay so yeah it's actually working really really nice so yeah this is actually a really uh, good approach by chat them to actually try to simulate a software house in which you know uh it shows how different people work together to create different projects so that's actually really great and amazing okay so uh this is actually the future of ai so that makes the end of this video i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in some other one until then take care bye bye